So on Monday, we talked about the guys at Watcher making a mistake that quite literally could have ruined their entire YouTube channel and end their careers. All in one foul swoop. Now they're backpedaling and apologizing, trying to revert as much brand damage as they can. They put up a video called an update where they address what happened. Now I've seen a lot of YouTubers saying that their apology was good, but personally, I think that it wasn't. It was basically just a quick panic response that seems to have been written by a PR team and entirely misses the core reason that people were upset. So today, let's talk about that. Now, if you don't know what I'm blathering on about, a quick recap is that the guys over at Watcher, which is a YouTube channel with over 2.8 million subscribers, started by Ryan and Shane, who were previously on BuzzFeed Unsolved. Basically, they do some cool ghost hunt videos and a bunch of other stuff, but I've only ever seen the ghost hunt videos. They decided in their infinite wisdom that they'd outgrown the platform that made them successful, YouTube, and they wanted to abandon it in order to launch their own streaming service, Watcher TV. That would cost $5.99 a month. Specifically, they were going to only leave the first episodes of any season of their show on YouTube and make you buy the streaming service to get everything else. This really made people angry for the obvious reason that no one wants to pay for another streaming service, especially for something that's been free on YouTube forever. Then there were complaints about how their large number of monthly paying Patreon subscribers were not given a free subscription to the streaming site. Basically, they wanted to double dip on their own Patreon. Oh, and the entire announcement video had this really arrogant and better than thou tone to it, especially when they said that everyone can afford to give them $5.99 a month. You can become a member of Watcher for $5.99 a month or $59.99 a year. We want to keep the price low enough where anybody and everybody is able to afford it. So yeah, people were not happy. I wouldn't have wanted to be in their office over the weekend because I bet they were running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Pretty much every comment on the announcement video was negative. No one likes streaming services. But later in the day on Monday, they decided to backtrack. They posted this video called an update where they respond to the entire situation and explain the changes that they're going to make to the entire model they had planned. Now, a lot of YouTubers have said that this response video was good, but it really isn't, at least to me. It doesn't really feel sincere. It feels like a PR move, like another terrible YouTuber apology. I mean, look at how they opened the video. Hey everyone, last Friday we announced that we're leaving YouTube and launching our new streaming platform. We messed up. A lot of you spoke out with extremely valid comments and concerns, and we want to take the time now to address those. We've been reading the things you've been saying, and we're sorry for the way we handled this, as well as the way we communicated it. We understand where you're coming from, and we're making immediate changes. First, we want to affirm that you are the reason why we've been able to do anything at this company. You helped us every step of the way when we left BuzzFeed to start Watcher at the top of the pandemic in 2020. You've supported us in so many ways by watching our content, attending our live shows, buying our merch, becoming members of our Patreon, and giving words of encouragement over the years. Uh, and we are incredibly grateful for your support. We're sorry for how we originally delivered our goodbye message to YouTube. It was insensitive. We didn't properly express how much we appreciate all of you. And we did a really bad job of explaining the reasoning behind this transition. It's obviously scripted. The first thing they do is the classic, we want to thank you for all of your support over the years, and we didn't express how much we need you guys type stuff. Basically to try to play off the parasocial relationship to make fans feel bad for doubting them. Only after that do they get into the apology. I mean, maybe I'm just not plugged into their stuff enough, but like, that doesn't actually feel like a real apology to me. It feels like they're reading from a script. Immediately after that, they go into more detail with what they're apologizing for and what changes they're making. They start by saying that they're sorry for saying that $5.99 is a price everyone can afford and that they didn't take into account how it would affect the viewer. But I'm pretty sure what they really mean to say is we didn't take into account that the price would be high enough to make you guys mad. We also want to deeply apologize for our ignorance around the impact of the cost. We regret stating and implying that it's a price that anybody can afford and we fully acknowledge that it is not. We didn't take the proper consideration for how this cost would affect you and hope you know that we are taking this as a serious learning experience. Now that feels kind of hollow, especially when you realize that as far as I can tell, the price for the streaming service is still set at $5.99 a month. So they know it's too much for people, but they're not changing the price? How does that make sense? Especially since they go on to mention that they're changing the streaming services model. If you were to sign up for $5.99 now, you're getting less for your money than you would have originally. With that in mind, we're making some changes to ensure that there's a way for our community to continue watching our content for free. If you want to watch our shows early and ad-free, you can catch them on the Watcher platform a month earlier. After that, 
you'll be able to watch our shows on YouTube for free. For those that have already subscribed to the platform, we are so grateful for your support. But if this change has you rethinking your membership, we will issue a full refund. And all past episodes and series will remain available on YouTube. This is the first good thing that they've announced. Posting videos a month early on the streaming site, allowing full refunds for people who already bought it and keeping all their videos on YouTube. Just posting them a month later than on the streaming site, those are all good moves. The problem is that the videos being available a month early should have been the model from the beginning. I mean, look at Nebula, which is a streaming service made by YouTubers. Basically, its entire draw is that your favorite creators upload a little early on it, and sometimes they put up an extra video or two. I don't know why they didn't just go with that business model, because it already works and they should have just done that from the beginning with watcher tv also i feel like it's only fair to point out that they don't need a streaming service to do what they're doing here they already have a successful patreon they could just release the videos early there plenty of creators do just that it just doesn't make much sense to have even considered making a separate streaming service at all i mean they try to explain why they did it but it's just really not a good explanation as for the question of why we decided to launch our own platform when we started Watcher in 2020, we wanted to create shows that we were proud of, that we had ownership over, and that would provide you the caliber of content that we felt you deserved. However, we were finding it harder and harder to stay relevant to advertisers in the constantly changing YouTube landscape. We faced some incredibly challenging decisions. We didn't want to compromise our content to ensure they met advertising requirements. And we definitely did not want to lay people off that have brought Watcher to life behind the scenes. And we didn't want to bring Watcher to a close, which would have happened if we stayed solely on YouTube. That's why we decided to launch the platform so that we as a company could continue, we could pay our staff fairly, and not only continue to make great content for you, but expand with new shows, new voices, all ad free. And now with the addition of accessible options, this is a decision that we all believe is the best for Watcher. However, we realized that in figuring out the logistics of what this might take, we overlooked the way it would impact all of you. Uh, we hope you'll be patient with us through these mistakes, and we remain incredibly sorry that they were made in the first place. It boils down to them having financial difficulties. They want more money, so they've decided to pass the cost of running their business onto their viewers, which has never been an idea that has ever worked for anyone. It just makes viewers mad and hurts your reputation. The thing that's baffling here is that in their explanation of why they needed this, they completely missed the point that a lot of their viewers were making. They talk about how they need to pay their staff fairly, keep people employed, and that's just not viable on the ad model. But for the most part, their viewers are there for Ryan and Shane. They don't need a massive staff to make videos that their audience enjoys. If they want to make television quality stuff, why not approach Netflix for funding? YouTube viewers want authenticity, not corporatization. Also, when you think about this explanation for more than a second, it basically boils down to, we expanded our business too fast and we don't make enough money to keep it as big as it is now. So we want you guys to give us more money because we made business mistakes. I don't think that that's a very compelling argument. Honestly, the only good thing they do in this entire video, besides the corporate feeling apology, is that they finally decided that they shouldn't double dip on their Patreon community and we'll be giving them free access to the site. We also want to directly address our Patreon community who have played such a key role in supporting us from the very beginning. All current Patreon members will receive a free subscription code to the platform. If you already purchased a subscription, please contact us and we will issue you a full refund. I don't know how they ever thought that they would get away with making their most devoted subscribers who already send them money every single month give them more money on a monthly basis for a streaming service. But at least they figured out that that was a massive mistake and fixed it. I'll give them credit there. After making that announcement, they then end the video with them apologizing again and begging people to keep watching them. So was it a good apology? I mean, they made some good steps to try to make this right. But the fact of the matter remains that they seem to be completely out of touch. I don't know whose ego got too big, but at least one of them probably all of them seem to be really overestimating their audience poll. And it still completely annoys me more than anything else that basically this entire thing seems to have happened because they made the bad business decision to put together a massive team for their YouTube channel where they have to pay a ton of people a decent wage when they couldn't afford it with the way that they were currently making money. It's not like that kind of thing sneaks up on you. They made the decision to expand when they shouldn't have and tried to make the viewers eat the cost. Don't even get me started on wondering how many people they hired to make the streaming site. What do you think? Was this a good apology or was it too little too late let me know in the comments thank you for watching all the way till the end remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already have a great day and god bless you